So if a man has integrity, purpose, knows all eight elements of a contract and writes a proper contract where there's a meeting of the minds, there's full and honest disclosure of the terms and conditions of the contract, there's equal consideration where one person gives something up and one receives, and the other gives something up and the other receives, it has to be a two-way street. If that's true, why do they have to form corporations? No, I'm, I'm serious. The reason is, is because of lack of integrity. If we had integrity, we'd never need a corporation. If we were honest, we'd never need a corporation. Corporations exist so that people can take, be taken advantage of. Yeah, because they have no integrity. So that's a, that's a pretty sad thing. Um, and one of the main things we got to learn is the United States of America is not the same thing as the United States. It's not the same thing as USA Inc. Salt Lake County is not the same thing as the county of Salt Lake. Salt Lake City is not the same thing as Salt Lake City Incorporated. Okay. You are not the same thing as your all caps name. So my name, David Lester Strait, spelled in all capital letters, is not the same as David Lester Strait in upper and lower case. What happened is a vessel was created, a vessel. And the law clearly talks about vessels over and over and over again. Why am I talking so much about law? <laughs> it's because kindergarten through 12th grade, how many law classes did you have? Why? That's right. The moment you turned 15 years old and got a permit, to operate a motor vehicle that you didn't even need, you've been dealing with the law. And yet, you never had any classes that teach you algebra. How much algebra have you used since you got out of high school? No, most people haven't, okay? So they teach us things we don't necessarily need and leave out the things that we do. I thought it was a government-funded, government-controlled curriculum, government school system. At some point in time, somebody's got to take responsibility for our education. Who's that going to be? I don't think it should be. It should be our parents. You know, it really should. Our parents are responsible. That's one of the reasons I feel so lucky. I had great parents, and they taught me to question authority. Now, the, my school that I went to told me not to question authority. So in my early days, my parents went in one ear and out the other, and the school sunk in, and I obeyed authority in the early days. Okay? And that always gets you into trouble. So, what city are we in, Riverton? So if the city of Riverton police drove in right now, who are they? Do you know? Well, that's right. It says policy on the side of their car. Police is policy. They're policy enforcement agents. Doesn't say law enforcement. It's policy. Supreme Court of the United States says rules Codes, statutes, and ordinances are not law. They're not law. They're corporate bylaws. They're for employees of the corporation to follow. So are you an employee of the corporation of the city of Riverton? You're not, but you are, because you consented. And what I mean by that is you volunteered and you call yourself, you self-determine. 
Your very first foundational cornerstone unalienable right is your right of self-determination. The church teaches it as free agency, right? That's the right to self-determine what's right, what's wrong. <clears throat> so you self-determine that you're a citizen, a person, and a resident. And if you are, you need CPR because you're dead. Yeah, you're a dead entity. You ever heard the term, all are equal in the law? Rich or poor, black or white, you all have equal standing, things like that. It's because you're all dead. What is an indictment? An indictment's a true bill. It says that right at the bottom of every indictment. It's a bill, it's an invoice. Did you bother to ask how much is the bill if you were indicted? No, nobody does. So you're brought up on charges. If you don't pay the charges, you're asked to bond. If you don't pay the bond, your body is held as surety for the bond. Well, they collect from your Sesta QV trust that you don't even know you have. Do you understand those are all banking terms? So what is a court? Look up the word court in a legal dictionary. It says C bank, C post office. You look up the word judge, it says C banker, C postmaster. Everything is banking. 